What's up guys and welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be showing you how to add your own weeks or custom songs to Psych Engine 1.0. Now this is the first video in this series it is for Psych Engine and not for the base game Friday Night Funkin. If you want tutorials on the base game Friday Night Funkin, I have some of those on my channel too. But I thought I'd create a small separate series for Psych Engine to fill out the gaps while waiting for new base game updates. If you don't have it already, you can go to GitHub and download Psych Engine 1.0 from there. This is, I believe, the final version of the engine, so you shouldn't have to worry about anything changing from when these videos are made. To start, you are going to want to scroll down, press the right button to go into the settings, Controls, Debug, and you're going to want to set this 7 key to whatever you want. I'm going to just keep it at 7 because it's what I I'm used to, but make sure this is going to be a key remember because you're going to be using that a lot. From now on, when I say use the Debug key, that's what I'm talking about. I might say 7 sometimes because that's my personal bind, but just know whatever you set that to, just press that. So go ahead and press your debug key. And here we have quite a few editors. We're going to go to the week editor. You'll be greeted with this screen. The menu is a little weird over here. It's, it's not the most polished, but first things first, let's add our song. So let's just say here, let's just do Friday and then we can do a comma. There we go. That's what we'll call our songs. You can see over in the tracks, it should say, say these as separate tracks. If it says something like, like Friday night, then you've done it wrong. And you, you need to make sure there is a comma there to separate the songs. So next you have the characters. Well, this is just the characters that show up here. You cannot enter like a custom character or anything. You can only enter the ones that already exist. I might make a tutorial on how to make your own things for this if it gets enough uh, support. Maybe as a short or something. Um, If I do end up making that, I'll link it down in the comments so you can check that. And then you got a background asset. Once again, not important. I'd recommend just removing the other character and removing the background asset. Display name is what's in the top right, so we're just gonna do Tutorial by Cat Brother does everything. We'll do the week name. So this is just for the uh, reset score menu, as it says right there. Let's just say Cat Brother does everything. Once again, the week file, we can call this, I don't know, F tutorial. tutorial. And then it'll say, it'll say missing file, images, story menu, FNF tutorial.png. So you're going to want to open up your file explorer. Go into mods. And if you don't already have a mod set up, you should see the mod template here. Extract it. Let's call that Cat Brother Does Everything Tutorial. You have the pack icon, the pack JSON, which uh, changes what is displayed. This isn't a big tutorial on how to set up your mod or anything, but we'll go through this real quick. And the description, the description could be whatever you want. Now, if we go ahead and do images, story menu, and then this is where it wants its FNF tutorial.png. So let's go into an editing software of your choice, paint.net for me. Now, go back to your originating Psych Engine folder, which would have the exe normally. Assets. Shared images, story menu, and then let's just grab like week one. 
And this will give you a general idea of how the image uh, should be sized. And we'll just go ahead and destroy that. We can go ahead and increase uh, the brush size. You know, you, you could try to like type out, like, like write out your own, um, your own letter here or your own number or, or whatever, or whatever you want to do here. It's really up to you. There we go. That works. It's not the highest quality thing ever, but it's just a tutorial example. So I'll select it, move it up a little bit. There we go. Just week C. Save this as in your mods folder, wherever you went before. So that was images, story menu, and call it whatever you have specified right here. So FNF tutorial. And it won't say anything for now, but trust me, it'll work. We can hide the week from story mode if we want this to just contain like free play songs or something. We can uh, start the week locked and make it hidden until it's unlocked. And then you can change it to the week file name of the week you, you have to finish to unlock it. So that's what you enter here. And then the difficulties, the default ones are easy, normal, and hard. But we'll just set it to be, you know, we'll just keep it to default. We can check this out in free play. And we'll see if there's some default icons here. We haven't created our own custom character yet, so we'll leave this here. But we can go ahead and change the background color. And you know what? Let's do something like this. We can copy the color. Scroll down and paste it. There we go. That all looks good. So let's just press save week. We can go ahead and do mods, our mod weeks, and let's just call that fnftutorial.json. Now let's back out. Check out the mods menu. And there we go. We have the Cat Brother Does Everything tutorial series. We can enable or disable that. And then story mode. We have our week C. And it has our songs. Now the songs, notably, do not exist right now. And it seems trying to select the mall, uh, the, the, the week has completely broken my game. So let's just close out that and create these songs. So if we're actually creating the songs, composing them, I can't really help you. I'm not a musician. But what I can say is that once you have your songs all ready, you need to go into your mods folder, into your songs folder, and create songs by the same name that you had in that week editor. No capitalization. We have Friday Night Funkin. If we go into the original songs from the source directory with the exe, assets, songs, and then let's just say hi, we can see how this is set up. We have inst, vocals opponent, and vocals player. So on the inst, we have the instrumental. No vocals track on the opponent. You can see it only has the opponent's vocals. On this one, it just has the player's vocals. So because I don't I don't actually have a song, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna copy and paste that for mine. But this is where you'd obviously add in all your, your songs and stuff. So then if we, if we relaunch the game after doing that, it will still not exactly load. 
because what we're gonna want to do is before we go into there you're gonna want to press your debug key and you're gonna want to go into the chart editor now the chart editor is a completely different thing um i'm not gonna look into it much this video i'll make a separate tutorial on that later but then we're gonna want to enter our song name so let's do friday reload the audio you can see this is this is obviously just high but 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 high is it's using the same audio files so this is actually our song so this is where you would of course chart it and all that stuff and then i'm not going to show you how to chart it in this video i'll show you how to chart it in another video or if you already know how to chart it go ahead but then just do file save as Go into your tutorial, data, Friday, which is your song's name, and then Friday.json. Now we can go ahead and do this, exit. Now if we go into story mode, you'll see boyfriend as his little piece symbol and we're sent into the song. We should have our weird chart that I just quickly added. Yep, there we go. So, obviously, it's not charged correctly. We'll, we'll figure it out in another video. But that is how do you add your own songs to Friday Night Funkin'. The basics of it, at least. I, I might cover advanced topics in the future, but I just wanted to help you get the absolute minimum setup for now. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, subscribe. Anyway, bye guys!